it's normal for a parent to want their child to experience the same things they did when they were young. But if a parent pushes too hard without considering whatever fears the child might have, both can find themselves struggling in the deep end. And that's what our story's about in this episode of Still a Beaver. should have taken home, Ex. Kip's the only one going to overnight camp. How come we have to sew name tags in Oliver and Kelly's clothing? I think it's important that they feel that day camp is special, too. Okay, so fine. Why don't we just build a campfire in the backyard and make them walk half a mile to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Ouch! Mom, why can't we use the iron-on name tags like other families do? Oh, I tried those once. They didn't last five years. <laughs> Wish I could get rid of this summer cold. June, look at this. Oh, you do find Kelly the cutest bathing suits. Yeah. Maybe this year she'll even wear it in a pool. <laughs> Mary Ellen, we've been over this a hundred times. This year she's going to learn to swim and that's final. Now, honey, she has a right to be frightened. You were so anxious to have her swim that you let go of her in the pool when she was just a baby. She was 13 months. A baby. And now she's frightened to put her face in the water. Okay, okay, so maybe I made one little mistake. But this year, we're going to fix it finally. So you're going to take the bull by the horns? Absolutely. He's promised her a Care Bear's watch if she'll stick her head under the water. Hey, what's wrong with a little incentive? Or a little bribery, hey, Wally? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Well, Dad, I'm all finished. Well, Kip, going to camp's made a man out of you already. I didn't even have to help you pack. Oh, this isn't the stuff I'm taking. This is the stuff I want you to lock up so Oliver can't get his grubby paws on it. <laughs> Kip, you should have more faith in your brother. Well, Grim, I've got plenty of faith in Oliver. I just don't trust him. Come on, Kip, hurry up. You're gonna miss your train. Oh, I thought I'd bring my own pillow. Just in case they don't have the fluffy kind. Good idea. You know, they probably stuffed theirs with pine needles. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, son. I'm gonna miss you too, Dad. But don't expect me to say that when I call home, because there may be another kid standing nearby. Oh, I understand. I wouldn't want any of your bunkmates to think you actually missed your family. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Pass these out in a couple of days, will you? What are they? They're letters from camp. 
Since Grandma gave me the pre-addressed envelopes, I figured I'd go ahead and write the letters. I can't stand the suspense. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Food's not so hot, though. Nice try, but uh, you write us when you get there. Come on, let's go. You're going to be late. Bye, Kat. Bye, Kat. Have a good time. Yeah, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. Luck. You'll be okay. See ya. All right, now, you guys wait right there for your bus. Have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Don't come back with a beer. <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me this summer. Yeah. Day camp's gonna be great this year. As long as they don't pour too much chloroform into the pool. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. They did fire that guy who made us pinstripe his car for arts and crafts. <laughs> this summer, I'm gonna swim all the way across the pool, underwater, and only breathe through my nose. Oh, uh, I hope the new crafts guy will let us where you land is. And I'll give everyone new keychains for Christmas presents. Kelly, I was as scared to swim in first, too. But now I really love it. You can go underwater and scream all you want to. And no one will even yell at you or nothing. So, I can do that around the house whenever Mom and Dad play their James Brown records. Come on, Coach Andy's a real good teacher. Huh, huh. Well, I don't know. Come on, Kelly. I'll help you. This is real important. You'll probably fall out of an airplane into the middle of the ocean someday. <laughs> okay, kids, line up right here. Kelly, get in line. Come on, form up. Let's go. Hi, I'm your coach, Andy. And those of you that had me last year know that uh, I have only one rule. That is, treat Coach Andy with respect, and he'll treat you the same way. What about the rule against spitting in the pool? As I was saying, I only have two <laughs> rules. Now, does anyone know why we call our tribe the Apaches? Oh, um, because our parents found out what our name last year really means? <laughs> because we're strong and we're brave. We don't speak out of turn, or else we spend the swimming period picking dead bugs out of the pool filter. Yes, Chief Coach Shandy. Now, this year, the pool isn't heated because some of our parents voted for cutbacks in the park budget. <laughs> but all bitterness aside, we are here to hone our swimming skills because it's healthy, it's fun. And one day you may fall out of a jet plane into the ocean. See, I told you. <laughs> okay, campers, up here next to this, we're gonna have a little warm up before we start the lesson. Stand there next to your buddy with your toes over the edge. Geronimo! <laughs> okay. Uh, when I count three, I want all you brave Apaches to jump in the water. One, two, three. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's it. Go around. <laughs> Okay, that's great, great. All right, Apache! Oh. Buddy up, buddy up, everybody buddy up! home in the middle of his racquetball game just because his wife was having a craving. It's okay. I was losing anyway. <laughs> but you know, this is getting a little bit out of hand. This is the third time this week that you've had Chinese food. So, Chinese people eat it every day. No point there. Hey, you think expecting Chinese women get cravings for a Big Mac? <laughs> Big Mac. Hey, hey. Kip's first letter from camp. Uh, have you got a few minutes? Uh, it's addressed to everybody. Oh, read it. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Dear everybody, today we passed inspection. Tomorrow we hike. Love, Kip. <laughs> Camp sure is sharpening up his communication skills, isn't oh, it? Oh, I think it's sweet. At least you wrote home. I never used to do that unless the counselors made me. Hi, everybody. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, sweetie. Here's my bathing suit, Mom. Oh, uh, thanks, hon. I'll uh, rinse it out later. So, how's my little Esther Williams? What? Oh, isn't that cute? 
She's got water in her ears. Come here, honey. I want to show you a little trick. There. Is that better? Yeah. Now I got a headache. We're all just proud you're finally swimming. Well, I'm not actually swimming yet, but I'm learning. Well, learning, swimming, it's the same thing. Either way, you're going to wind up in the Olympics. Hey, that'd be great. Mayfield hasn't had anybody in the Olympics since 1976, when Earl Potts streaked the opening ceremonies. <laughs> anyway, guys, I gotta get back to the office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, honey, I want you to tell me everything you learned today. Um, well, I'd like to, Dad. But Apache's gotta honor their code of silence. At least until Parents' Day. Well, I can respect that. But the important thing is you're learning how to swim. <laughs> and, um... I want to give you that watch I promised you. Don't you think you should wait until I'm swimming laps or something? No, no, I said I would give it to you as soon as you put your head underwater. A deal is a deal. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Mom. I'll go upstairs now. Oh, uh, you better put some conditioner on your hair, sweetie. It's starting to get all bleached out from all that chlorine. Dad? You better take the watch back. What's the matter? Did you want a digital? No, Dad. I don't deserve it because I haven't been swimming. I've just been dunking my suit before I come home. But, honey, you told us that you were learning. Well, I watched the other kids. That's sort of learning. Now, you know that's not what I meant. Honey, why did you make us believe that you were swimming? Because that's what you wanted to believe. Honey, I told you we shouldn't have pushed. Now look what's happened. I'm not pushing, Mary Ellen. She doesn't need to be pushed. She's a born athlete. Just must have a bad teacher, that's all. I tell you what, tomorrow before camp, I am going to give you a swimming lesson myself. You know, I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Trophy for the 100 meter freestyle. <laughs> See, there's my name. That's nice. <laughs> but by the end of summer, you're going to want to take one of these home with you. Maybe we should take one home now, Dad. No one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, honey, when we get in the water, I want you to remember two things. One, I'll never let you go. And two, people don't sink, they float. Well, if I remember the first, I won't have to worry about the second. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> well... Okay, honey, let's, um, let's take this one step at a time. First, we'll just get used to the water, okay? <laughs> oh, this really is cold. Oh, I'm sorry I voted for those budget cuts. <laughs> well, when I was on the college swim team, we used to swim when it was 30 degrees outside. Didn't you have an indoor pool? Uh, yeah, well, sometimes they forgot to shut the door. <laughs> okay. Everybody into the pool. Pull me. Yeah, me. Okay, I've got you. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? No. Let's go out now. Now, wait a second. Not yet, honey. You're about to learn the secret of swimming. <laughs> Here we go. Just lay out flat like that. Yeah, that's a girl. Well, you're almost halfway there. <laughs> I am, aren't I? Yeah. Here you go. Let's try it like this. Hey, this is fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's even better than making lanyards. Yeah, you just needed a better coach, that's all. Let's see you kick a little bit. That's it. That's a girl. That's my big girl. Gee, Dad, I'm doing okay. Well, of course you're doing okay. You're my daughter, aren't you? <laughs> now. 
All you've got to do is learn one more thing, and you've got it. Okay? Take a big breath, stick your face under the water, and then breathe out. But I don't want to. Come on, honey. Come on, it's real easy. Mm -hmm. Forget it. I'm not sticking my head under the water. Hey! Honey, listen. You wash your face, don't you? Yeah, but I don't stick my head in the sink. <laughs> At least try it, honey. Please? Forget it. Let me go. No, I take that back. Just get me out of here. Uh, honey, what, what's wrong with you anyway? Even a dog can swim. Then why don't you get one? <clears throat> uh, Kelly, honey, would you please pass the whipped cream? Thanks. Kelly, you're going to have to talk to your father sooner or later. Now, it may as well be sooner. Okay. May I be excused? Okay. But not before we talk about what happened at the pool today. I don't want to talk about it, because if I do, you just start yelling again. Who's yelling? <laughs> What is it? Hi, Wally. Hi, Mary Ellen. Well, uh, Richard and I were just in the neighborhood, and we thought we'd drop by. Well, of course you were in the neighborhood, Beeve. You live next door. <laughs> hey, Wally, that's great. I always encourage my patients to use humor to relieve tension. Since when am I a patient, Dr. Rickover? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, Wally, I knew you were having a little problem with Kelly, and, well, Richard is a psychologist, and uh, if he owned a tire store, you would buy your radials from him. <laughs> well, I don't need any tire. And I don't need any help. I'll take care of this myself. Just like you did at the pool this morning? I didn't do anything at the pool this morning that any normal father wouldn't have done. Uh, you would call me a normal father, wouldn't you? Normal's a relative term, Wally, and I'd hesitate to use it on someone who wasn't my patient. <laughs> a normal father wouldn't have tried to make his daughter swim after she said stop. You're right. I should have started before she could say stop. That's the whole problem. I waited too long. Well, maybe I should just deliver our next child underwater. That'll give him a head start. Hey, great. That's okay with me. Oh, fine. Shouldn't maybe you be taking notes? Nah, I got the ball, Dee. Let him run with it. Mary Ellen, I am not going to let you baby her any longer. She is going to learn to swim before the summer's over, and that's final. End of discussion. Uh, now, say, Wally... Why is it so important that Kelly learn how to swim? Yeah, are you planning on buying a houseboat or something? I can't believe you guys. What idiot doesn't know how to swim? I don't. Well, that's different. You don't have an athletic background like I do. Oh, well, how come I beat your high school record in the long jump? You must have had a massive tailwind. <laughs> well, why don't we go over to the track and settle this thing right now? You wait right here. I'm gonna go get my track shoes. I'll get the tape measure. Holly, look at you. You're one of the most sensible guys I know, but you're ready to go out and defend a 20-year-old track record. You're darn right. What's wrong with that? You're a grown man. You've already lived that part of your life. You can't live it again through your daughter. I'm not. Well, I'm afraid you are. You're putting her under so much pressure, she's afraid she's never gonna live up to your expectations. Well, so what do you want me to do? Go up there and tell her I don't care if she ever learns how to swim? Well, that might be a start. At least then she can get a handle on what she's really afraid of. Well, but whatever you decide, you two guys have done a pretty good job so far. Heck, you haven't messed her up half as much as most of the kids I see. I'll take that as a compliment. My pleasure. Come on, babe. Let's go shoot some hoops. Hey, that'd be great. But first, I want you to read Kip's letters from camp and tell me if he's really having a good time. <laughs> Boy, the nerve of that guy coming into my house and saying those things. Oh, come on, honey. You've got to admit, Richard made some valid points. Hey, whose side are you on, anyway? I'm not on anybody's side. I just don't think you're being honest with yourself. Nah. 
now. There must have been something you've been afraid of. Hmm? Yeah. I guess I just chose to forget it. Where are you going? Upstairs. To tell Kelly what everybody else seems to know. I haven't been the most understanding father in the world. You didn't have to rub it in about my long jump record. <laughs> Kelly, honey, can I come in? Okay, but just don't expect me to talk a whole bunch. <clears throat> Mind if I join you? <laughs> what you building here? It's my dream mansion. There's the stables, here's the house, there's the tennis courts, and here's the there, sweet. No pool, huh? No, just a trough for the horses. Hey, listen, honey, I want to explain something to you about this whole swimming thing. I know, Dad, if I ever fall out of an airplane over the ocean, I'm shark lunch. <laughs> no, not that. You see, I guess I wanted you to learn how to swim so badly, I forgot what it was like to be afraid of something. You see, when I was about your age, I was, um, well, I was afraid to roller skate. Oh, Dad, that's silly. Everybody roller skates. That's what I thought, right up until the moment that I woke up in the hospital with a broken arm. Wow, did people sign your cast and everything? They sure did. But then I had to paint over it when my dad found out what Eddie Haskell put down. <laughs> See, this picture that had a... <laughs> well, anyway, even after a heel, boy, I wasn't going to get back on those roller skates for anything. Just because you fell that one time? Yeah, well, mostly because I was afraid. I know how you felt. But I'd forgotten. You see, Kelly, parents have so many expectations for their kids. And they think when they're pushing them, well, they're doing it in their kid's best interest. I'm afraid I was doing it in my best interest. Otherwise, I would have seen how scared you really were. Dad, I'm sorry I'm afraid to swim. Don't be, honey. It's okay to be afraid. And if you want to swim one day, hey, that's great. And if not, well, that's your decision. Thanks, Dad. Oh, honey, here. I think you should keep this. You deserve it, no matter what. Dad? Yeah? Don't you think I'm a little big for a Care Bears watch? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me before I got it for you? I didn't want to hurt your feelings, because I never thought I'd get it. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'll take it back and get a Mr. T watch. I'll take the Care Bears. <laughs> Kelly, I'd be happy to help. Okay, you three go on over there. Go on, Kimberly. Pick over there. Grab a board. Come on down. Keep your weight on the board. That's it. Okay. Keep your elbows like that. That's great. Okay. That's good. Wonderful. That's it. Okay, now kick. Kick. Lower your face a little bit. You gotta try to keep that face in the water. Relax. Relax your shoulders. Come on. Come on. Kick. Okay. You gotta kick at the same time. That's it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. 
you did great. Thank you.